watch, watch this. This will be like comparative compared to yours. The Gilly Angel, you're always here. I'm a big fan of yours. James Kessler, JPS Cags joined. How you doing? I'm here with my boy Max Lugavare. Close. Oh, how do I do it? Lugavere. 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 No, I just like Lugavere. It just sounds sounds cooler. And my boy Mark Krasner, how you doing? What up? Uh, Max is a health expert guru, contributor to Yahoo Health, um, documentary maker. Hey, from Atlanta, James Kessler, how you doing? Mr. Chris Rossi's here. Gilly Angel, sup, Jets? Do you mean gents or Jets? I'm not sure. How you doing? Jets. Uh, questions for Max, who is a health guru expert. He'll answer any questions that you have right now. So this is very health related. So are you overweight, trying to quit drinking? You got questions about your hormones, what foods you should or should not eat? Post right now. What kind of health? Any kind of health. Well, that's a very good question. We should we should clarify. I, I look I like specifically the brain and the uh, role of nutrition and diet in modulating its function and its health. So brain questions, brain function questions. I'm really interested in the microbiome. You know that that uh, community of 100 trillion organisms, James, that yes. live in your large intestine. Yeah, that was crazy when you were telling me about that. Yeah, uh, what health for the brain? Uh, uh, hang on a sec. Nick, Nikki85 says she has uh, hormone issues. What are they? Um, uh, Max is going to tell you about it. <laughs> you wake up feeling immense pressure in your head. Any answer to that? That I cannot. I cannot. Make sure that you're hydrated. That's. I'm not a doctor. I should definitely state that. I'm not a doctor. Uh, so if you do have pressure in your head and it seems weird, and painful, go see a doctor. Yeah, could be it could be a sinus headache. Actually, I've had I've had those. Could be a hangover. Oh, yeah, not if they're unlikely if they're following you. And is anyone pregnant here? Because my mate Mark here is a pregnancy expert. <laughs> Just <laughs> explain that. And I know a few things about meditation too that I can yeah. help you out with. Yeah. So if you've got any questions about meditation or pregnancy, then Mark is your guy. Why? <laughs> uh, in February, actually, anybody who's interested, anybody who's watching this and is pregnant or has a pregnant friend, go to expectful dot com slash pregnancy that's e x p e c t f u l dot com slash pregnancy we're launching in february but we have a private beta set up and it's a platform that makes it really easy for women that are expecting to meditate and the reason we created that is because it can change meditating during pregnancy can change your baby's entire future it's it's absolutely remarkable uh right now when somebody conceives everybody's talking about the physical well-being of a mom uh, and nobody's really talking about her mental well-being and how that has a very significant effect on the baby. And meditation can really help you give your child the best possible start in life. So if you're interested in getting involved, again, head to expectful.com slash pregnancy, and we can sign you up for free on our beta just because you're he friends with uh, James here. Cool. Damn. So listen, share this right now. I want you to share it. So press the screen and share it with your followers on Twitter. And if you do that, I will see you do it, and I'll give you a big shout-out right now. So we're going to answer some questions. All right, we've got a 65-year-old males and breaking down. What do you recommend? So what do you recommend for a 65-year-old man who's... Breaking got, down? Breaking down. I think he must mean like, you know, it's just having a few more health issues, yeah. a few more health problems. Remember, if you share this now, touch your screen, share it. James Kessler shared on Twitter. Big shout-out to you, my man. If anyone else shares this right now, you get another big shout-out. But share it with your followers right now. Let's get more people on this, get the conversation going. So 65-year-old man. Yeah. Christina Allison shared on Twitter. Thank you very much. I have a Keep going. Uh, okay, so to respond to that question, I'm not a doctor, and uh, this is not medical advice. But Donna I, Borg, 78. Thank you. Keep going. But uh, but I would I would look at the gut first um, because the gut is a major driver of inflammation in the body. It's where 70 to 80 percent of your body's immune system is found, and unlike Vegas, what happens in the gut doesn't stay in the gut. So you can actually activate immune cells in the gut that can travel to your brain and create inflammation there, or create an immune response there, or down to your joints. So it's a really it's a really important thing, and uh, what I would do is um, really nurture the gut. And there are a plethora of books out there and, and people that can tell you how to do that online. Hi, Miguel. Thank you for sharing. If you're just joining us, share this on Twitter right now. Hit the screen and share it. I'll give you a shout out. Did you see the question there about uh, maca root? What do you think about maca root? Uh, I don't have any thoughts. Somebody's asking what to do if they self harm and have suicidal thoughts. Please seek help. That's serious. Um, and yeah, we wouldn't want to see you hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. And meditate. Yeah, and meditate as well. Um, can anyone, uh, some, Curtis Bryant, LSU, shared on Twitter. Thank you so much. Dual says Jay shared on Twitter. Thank you very much. I'm a big fan. Can anyone tell me why I'm wearing these glasses? Can anyone tell me what they're called and what the purpose of them are? If you can, I'm going to give you a big shout out and answer your question. First person to tell me what these glasses are and what they do. Curtis Bryant, LSU, says sleep better. 
NKLS says, Swannies! To look cool is a pretty good answer. Hey from Dagestan, 3D glasses. So I'm I'm tired of explaining these things, so I'm gonna let my mate Max, the health guru, explain these things. Can you explain my, my Swannies glasses? Please? Yeah, so basically these are a beautiful contraption that essentially filter out blue light from your retinas in the evening hours. So back when we were evolving on the planes, it was very unlikely that we'd encounter blue light when the sun, you know, after the sun set. Uh, and so our brains have a very difficult time telling the difference between blue light emitted from smartphone screens, laptop screens, and televisions, and the sun. So that sends your signal to a brain that it's daytime, it suppresses melatonin production. Um, and melatonin is a, it's a hormone actually secreted in your brain and in your gut. A lot of, a huge amount of melatonin is actually created in the gut. Uh, and it's involved in the re expression of hundreds of genes, some of them involved in cancer production. But basically melatonin is what regulates your circadian rhythm and when you're sleeping, your brain is doing some very important things. And so uh, you don't want to mess with melatonin production. And that's essentially what these glasses uh, promise to do. Right, James? Right, absolutely. So you wear them, they block the dangerous blue light. Okay, so you put these on, they block the blue light. And so your body starts to create melatonin, which makes you fall asleep quicker, which makes you have better restorative sleep. Now, some of you can probably fall asleep okay, but because in the minutes before you went to sleep, you were looking at your cell phone or you're looking at a computer screen, you don't go into that deep restorative sleep. So yeah, you may get seven, even eight hours, but it's not deep restorative sleep. So you're not getting the benefits of hormone production, of fat loss, of really um, giving yourself the greatest relaxation. So if you want to check these out, go to bit.ly.com forward slash swannies, bit.ly.com forward slash swannies. The brand is Swanick, which is my name, obviously. You can also go to swanwicksleep.com and I'll send you a free book, um, Seven Ways to Improve Your Sleep. So if you're watching this and your sleep sucks, go to swanwicksleep.com uh, and I will send you a free PDF, Seven Ways to Improve Your Sleep. And if you want to check these out, bit.ly.com swannies. All right, uh, let's keep taking questions here. We've got uh, PMK1. James, I found other blue light blocking glasses online much cheaper. Yeah, I'm sure they're much cheaper. Are they better? These things are cool. Look at these. They look very cool. Um, you can get cheaper ones if you want. Go for it. Uh, how are yours better? Mine are better because these are FDA approved. So I've had the US government make sure that they're all okay and honky dory and that they actually do block blue light. So a lot of the ones online which are cheaper, they have a lighter shade. You can see this is very orange. The other ones like gamma rays and things like that is more yellow. And so it doesn't block as much nano waves so, or nanometers, I should say. So these block about 420 nanometers. That's NM. The other ones are only blocking like 293. 300. So this really is the most powerful way to block as much blue light as possible. That's the difference. Plus, you know, I made them. They're cool. Max is cool. They're very cool. I, I, I have a pair. I love them. And we've got, we've got a male model here, actually, my mate uh, Mark here, who where every time I put him on my Instagram, the girls start to swoon and go, oh, he's handsome. Let's have a look. Yeah. Form an orderly line, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I had a threesome last night because I had these on. Actually, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, now, now we got now we got other health questions about you know other, <laughs> other, thi other things to do with that. I hope you were safe. Uh, okay, let's keep going. We've got some more questions here. Uh, what do I say about IGIL? Do you know what that is? I don't know what that. I is. I don't know what that is. Can you explain that, please, Montana ninety five? Keep the questions coming. Let's go. You got a health expert now. Quick, you got to do it. Probiotics on a daily basis, Grapevines 1. Yes, you should do it. We were just talking about how I take um, sauerkraut in the morning. And sauerkraut is an awesome um, way to, to get a whole lot of uh, probiotics into your system. What's the other thing? Kem kombucha or something? I'm a, uh, kombucha. I'm a huge fan of kombucha. Actually, gr I've grown my own SCOBY, which is a basically kombucha metabolizing pancake of bacteria, which it's a, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a nutty thing to have in your apartment. But, um, but yeah, kombucha is amazing. Kimchi is amazing. Uh, Ideally, in an ideal world, you want to get your probiotics with prebiotics, which are fermentable fibers that your microbiota actually consume mm. in the form of soluble fiber or resistant starch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, huge fan of kimchi. Okay, make sure you follow Max as well. Um, where can we find more about Max? Max is like, make sure you like his Facebook page. In fact, if you're on your computer right now, just open another window and go and literally like his page because he rocks and he's got really cool stuff. What's your, what's Thanks, your page? Man. Yeah, so it's Max, M A X, Lugavere, L U G A V E R E. By Lugavere, about, yeah. I prefer that. <laughs> by about G, you'll start to I'll come up in the search, and uh, there's a little blue check mark by my name. I don't know how I got that. PMK1 says Max is smart. Thanks so much. Hey. Sexy voice. Hey. 
I like you that. Want to, let's you. all do our sexy voice. Ready? Coming up tonight on Sports Center at 5:30 p.m. Eastern Time, we go to Bronco City where it's Tebow time. Is that right? Is that all right? That was, that was my good. Sports was Center good. voice. That was pretty good. You got one? Have you got one? Um. Hey, ladies, what's going on? How you doing over there? <laughs> uh, my name's Mark. I'm from the Bronx. That's pretty good. That was I'm good. I'm eating pizza pie with me. That was good. Max, you got one? Oh man, I don't. I don't. Have, I can do the vocal. The vocal fry thing. Maybe Th- that was no. cool. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. This guy. Someone says that you guys models. No, no, only this guy. He's very attractive. Mm-hmm. Look how handsome mm-hmm. he is. Every time I put him on the damn Instagram, the the women swoon. Uh, please answer. What's your question, please? Kiosk Noski Five. We've missed it. What's your question? Fashion show, hello. Um, last chance to retweet this. If you press the button on your screen and then retweet it to your followers now, I'll give you a shout out. Do you all enjoy what you do or are you more motivated by material? Real men wear scarves, absolutely. Max is super handsome too. Yes, hey, he thanks. Yes, he is. Thank you. I didn't mean to like, you know, <laughs> cut you out. I was, it was more like he's just, you know. I don't have much to say, so there needs to be some. <laughs> You're like a Price is Right model. You know, <laughs> All this could be yours if the, the Price universe, is Right. The universe is fair. The universe, the is, universe fair. is fair. Thank you very much, B. Vincent Kelly, sharing on Twitter. Mr. Chris Rossi shared on Twitter. I appreciate you. Max. Oh, man, find me on Facebook. Say hi. Or Twitter. Max Lugavir. Works out four times a week when I eat like crap. I, I missed it. It just disappeared. Um, can you just say the net again? Well done, zero, 0 invited followers. Thank you so much. This will be the last two minutes. We're doing a two-minute countdown. You've got final questions for Max. Your Instagrams must attract many followers. Well, you can follow me on Instagram at James Swanick. Uh, you can follow uh, Max at, at Max Lugavir. L U G A V E. Someone's asking, how is anybody supposed to know how to spell that name? It's L U G A V E R E. Mine's S W A N W I C K Swanwick. I sleep so much better with Swanee, says Mr. Chris Rossi. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, just a reminder go to swanwicksleep.com or bit.ly.com forward slash swannees. If you have a pen and paper, bit.ly.com forward slash swannees. Or just go on Amazon and type in swannees, S W A N N I E S. Last questions Are hemorrhoids dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Lump in the really armpit. Should I be worried? Lump in the armpit. Uh, go see a doctor, please. Yeah. Um, I don't. That's not to say that you should be worried, but I'm not a doctor, and even a doctor, if they were in my shoes, would not diagnose anything over periscope. So go see your doctor. If you yeah. have Serious medical medical concerns. Do you all exercise a lot? According to Glenn Hugh. Yeah, I do. I exercise probably five times a week, and I get angry when I have to take the two days off. To be honest, because I just love the endorphin rush. What about you, Max? How often do I work out? Was yeah. the question. Yeah. Uh, I work. I try to work out at least every other day. Okay, and uh, mm, six to seven a week. Six to seven times a week. Yeah. I mean, we. I don't know about you guys. I can't speak for you guys, but I just love doing it. Some mm. people, a lot of people, are like, oh, I don't like working out. It's such a pain in the ass. I love it. Like, I love the process of going mm. to the gym, working out, and f- that feeling when you finish and you walk out of the gym or you finish from a run, and then you shower and you get some food in. You're like, oh, life is damn good this way. Yeah. You feel that way? Yeah, I, f- I love working out. I love exercise. Hundred percent. So just rewire your brain to love the exercise. Out of my mouth. I and then rewire your brain yeah. to love the exercise and make it a habit. And when you do that. Everything's better. Uh, Mr. Cross Rossi, can't wait to meet you in New York City at the Ty Lopez thing. Yes, I will see you there. Do you know anything about neuropathy? Why people block other people? Why are you guys qualified to answer health questions? Ty Lopez is a scam. Oh, there's a hater. I love haters. <laughs> How you doing, hater? I'm a big fan of yours. Is Max the guy making a movie about grains impacting brain degeneration, says PMK1? Yes. Yes, this is Max. We've got a fan. Um... Hi from New Jersey. Nice to see you. Gilly Angel says, ha ha. It is true that Max doesn't know that much about hemorrhoids. Yes, it is true. <laughs> like he said, he's not a doctor, but he is a health expert. He's interviewed the world's top doctors. He writes columns. He writes stories about it. He does documentary on it. So he knows more than the than the average person. Maybe a little bit less than a qualified doctor, but he knows a hell of a lot. I mean, okay? Dr. Oz thinks he's qualified to be yeah, on the show. Yeah, you'd be on the so. Dr. Oz show, right? <laughs> I mean, that's got to count for something. Yes. I, you know, I... I know a lot about health. I think, I mean, ultimately, my, my main message is not to get uh, on a pedestal, but I think that we should all be experts in our own health. And so, yeah. um, you know, and so that's kind of what I, what I like to preach. Yeah. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, what do we think of the paleo diet? I eat, I do paleo. So I'm 85% paleo, 15% I eat ice cream, chips, whatever. But I always try to eat paleo. If you don't know what paleo is, paleo comes from the Paleolithic era. You eat lean meats and vegetables. You avoid grains. 
things like bread, rice, a little bit of rice is fine, no sugars. I mean, it's kind of just common sense, but um, I certainly try to keep a, as strict a paleo diet as I can. What about you? Do you eat paleo or something else? Yeah, I don't say that I follow the paleo diet, but that's basically, that describes pretty, fairly accurately how I eat. Yeah. Cool. Mark? Yeah, just about the same. Probably 85, 15, something like that. Paleo as well? Uh, yeah, to keep weight on, I actually started to I got a few carbs in the diet just to yeah. so I don't get too skinny. But generally, yeah, that's how I like to eat. Cool. That's the way to go. Clears my head. Another good way to feel great is to do 30 days without alcohol. Take the 30-day no alcohol challenge. You can go to 30daynoalcoholchallenge.com. Who here is doing the challenge or has done it? You got any questions about alcohol in the last 60 seconds before I say goodbye and we say goodbye and we're out of here? Apple cider vinegar. Yeah, I've been doing that actually. It's good. I've been putting a little uh, half a cap full in a, in a liter of water or in a, in a jug of water in the it's morning awesome. Awesome. and just drinking that. It actually tastes pretty good. You'd think it would taste like crap, but it actually tastes all right. I love apple cider vinegar. And there's evidence that that vinegar uh, reduces postprandial blood glucose. Right. Well, that's a fancy yeah. word. <laughs> Uh, it means your blood sugar after eating. So if you eat a really high carb meal, blood sugar is dangerous uh, in you know extreme elevations, mm. uh, and I, I think even in mild elevations. Um, and yeah, drinking vinegar after a meal can actually reduce that hyper that post meal hyperglycemia. Everyday stuff to do for detox tips. Well, take the 30-day no alcohol challenge. That way you'll make sure that you go 30 days without drinking. Drink lots of water. Um, put a little bit of apple cider, apple cider vinegar. Like your work, Max, I think I heard you on Abel James's podcast. You were on Abel James. You told yeah, me. Yeah, Abel is amazing. Love Abel. Water, uh, Walter and cranberry juice is where it's at. I think you mean water and cranberry juice. Yes, a splash of cranberry juice. Don't have too much because it can, there's a bit of sugar in that. Vincent Vega 8 joined. How you doing? Nice to be here. Nice to have you here. Mark Krasner is his name. You can follow him at? MarkKrasner.com. M-A-R-K-K-R-A-S-S-N-E-R. -S -S -E Max is his name. You can follow Max at? Max Lugavir. <laughs> Max Lugavir. And James Swanick is my name. You can follow me on the James Swanick Show podcast. I'm on YouTube at James Swanick. Do the 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge at 30DayNoAlcoholChallenge.com. Grab a pair of your Swannies at bit.ly.com forward slash Swannies. Get your free PDF on seven ways to sleep at SwanwickSleep.com. We are out of here. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all your awesome comments. Later. Later.